This is for Lola, who does all of my video recordings in year 10. Today we're going to talk about introduced species. You need to know the difference between endemic versus introduced. Endemic means it always has lived in the area. So it's perfectly evolved to living where it's living. Introduced means it does not belong. It's taken from a foreign ecosystem and put into the new ecosystem. Some examples are the cane toads, foxes, and then some plants that people put in their fish tanks and they tip the fish and the fish tanks into the natural waterways and the plants take over, take over the ecosystem. All right, the reason that introduced species are such a big problem is because they've got no predators. Because the place where they've come from, they had predators, but in this new place, there are no predators, so they grow out of control. The endemic species have no protection because they're not used to growing up with this particular introduced species, and so in quite, they've got no defences. They don't run away. They just sit there and get eaten. The introduced species has a diverse diet, which means it, it eats almost anything. Right, the introduced species also reproduces rapidly and has lots of offspring, like the cane toad can lay thousands of eggs in a city. Right, and that leads to a drop in biodiversity. The ways that we can control the introduced species is we can use chemical control, like 1080, which is toxic to foxes and cats and all introduced species, but the species that live in Australia are immune to 1080. Right, it's biological, you can introduce viruses and bacteria that can kill particular species. You can also introduce predators, but again, if the predator is introduced, it's going to cause more problems. And there are two types of predators. There is a specific predator and a general. The specific only hunts the target species, and the general can kill pretty much anything. So you need to, be, you need to watch out with what you're introducing to control the introduced species. And the last one is physical control, which involves culling, like flying around in a helicopter and shooting kangaroos or wild horses or camels, or you can use trapping. But either way, death is the only answer.